What about blind spots? Do we, uh, you talk a lot about that. Uh, why do we all have them and how do we correct them? How do we find them? What are they doing to us? Well, we all have blind spots and the hilarious thing to me about talking about blind spots is in- including me. My reaction is like, sure, everyone has blind spots. I mean, I don't have them, but everyone else seems to have them. Sure. <laughs> kind of um, like asking if somebody whose fault it was to get in an accident. It's never the person's fault. Right, but exactly. Yet, 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 yet yeah. somebody has to be at fault at these accidents. Right. But, or but, it's, it's like dri- when you're driving, whatever speed you're going is the right speed and everyone is going faster is going too fast and everyone's going slower is going too slow. That's so um, true. But blind spots are, are that way in the sense that they're blind spots. So when, when someone says, well, you may have a blind spot there, you think, no, I just checked. I don't have a blind spot there. <laughs> But you can't do that. That's the the challenge. So, you know, common blind spots uh, in communication have to do with things that we think we know. Like, so blind spots are tend to be about ourselves, like the way there's something we're doing that is impacting other people that we're not that we're not aware of. And so, when people tell us that, like, you know, you, the that you raised your voice or you whatever it is. We think, well, I, I was there and I, I know myself. I'm with me 24 hours a day and I don't raise my voice. Mm. I did, I did a system check and I did a system check and turns out after a full scan, no no blind spots here. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But blind spots are precisely the thing the system check isn't going to check. Right. So if, so very often, so for example, like right now, actually, weirdly, uh, I have access to my facial expressions because we're, uh, I can see myself. Um, but in general in life, I don't. And my facial expressions are often going to be communicating things that I'm not aware of. And so when someone says, you seemed really upset with me, and I say, I wasn't upset. And in fact, I think I was really quite friendly. Part of it is part of the, it's like, why, why am I thinking I wasn't upset? And they're thinking I was. Part of it is that I I don't have that information. It's a blind spot. My facial expression, which may be giving away the fact that I really am actually upset, even though I'm trying to hide it. Um, I don't, I don't see my facial expression. Uh, and so the only way to kind of engage with that is, is to hear, is to learn it and to hear it from other people and to try to make sense of it. Yeah. Okay. So, so if we've got these, again, what, what do we do about it? So one thing that's useful is to start to notice patterns. And so, you know, like on the, on your seventh divorce, it's probably, (laughs) it's probably something that you're doing as well as the other person. Um, So, you know, the first time we get feedback, we might say, oh, well, that's, you know, that's just them being too sensitive or whatever. Maybe the second time. But if we get this, if we get similar feedback consistently from different people, one way to think about it is like just other people are crazy. But another way is maybe I'm doing something that's in a blind spot of mine that I just am not aware of. And, and I need to, I need to start taking that feedback seriously. 